Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. In today's video we're gonna analyze why Bitcoin could reach $60,000 and Ethereum $8,000 if we're gonna fulfill this Fibonacci extension prediction that we're gonna analyze in today's video. We did this already with Bitcoin in the past, but today we're gonna, of course, uh, repeat it in Bitcoin and also gonna have a look into the potential Ethereum price prediction based on Fibonacci extensions. But before we go to this uh, topic uh, we first start here in the lower time frames we're gonna have a look what is the outlook here for the next couple of hours because in the bitcoin price currently we have some very bullish signs in the four hour we are currently closing four hour candles above these uh, highs that we had here previously so the good thing is that in the lower time frames we are creating higher highs in the four hour time frame this is what we want to see and of course we are maintaining so far this green trend line which is lining up with the nine moving average in the four hour time frame and as long as we're closing four hour candles above this moving average right here at $37,100 we should expect the price to go higher but as you can see here in the RSI and also in my own indicator it looks like that very soon we are getting here a sell signal and that could indicate that we will see a retest here potentially of the 20 moving average in the four hour here $36,000 maybe even go down to test the 200 here at $34,850 I don't think that we will start to close four hour candles below this important moving average again even though we could see this potential little pullback before we continue to go higher because also now the lower time frames are looking more bullish than previously and also we are maintaining here in the RSI this green trend line here so even if we cool off the RSI we should see a bounce from it so only if we would drop below here in the RSI below this trend line so back to the 50 area I think then maybe we could go again a bit more bearish but as long as we're trading above this green trend line and also above the 200 moving average in the four hour everything is good to go to the upside so the four hour time frame is looking still very very bullish I also still have my long opened but I already have right now a stop loss set right here just below this week that we had recently and in the last couple of hours here towards uh, $37,000. So let's see if we're gonna have this correction down again towards $35,000. I will probably reopen another long position as soon as we're gonna have another buy signal here in my own indicator. But if we're gonna drop towards this level, I want to lock in the profits and then look for new entries and if we go now over into the daily time frame here you can see that currently we are closing daily candles above the 9 daily and 20 daily moving average right here $34,400 that's why I think if we're gonna see a pullback today or tomorrow then most likely here at this moving average we're gonna see a bounce and of course the important thing is that we continue to close daily candles above the 9 daily and 20 daily moving average which currently are right here at our previous resistance which now should be acting as a new support at around $34,000 also RSI is looking healthy and also in my own indicator we still have a lot of room left to the upside so the momentum is clearly again shifted to the upside even though we could maybe see today or tomorrow another retest and confirm the new support that we have here in the 9 and 20 daily moving average. So now let's switch over into the weekly time frame because after getting here a sell signal in the weekly we had this little pullback here down to the 9 weekly moving average. Currently this moving average is right here $31,000. So the important thing is that we're going to continue to close weekly candles above this important moving average. Otherwise we could still see a correction down towards the 20 weekly right here $22,000. At the moment it's not anymore that likely but of course uh, keep in mind that if we gonna have a weekly close anytime below the nine weekly moving average then we're gonna most likely see a retest of the 20 weekly moving average currently at 22,000 but of course by next week we will also here go higher and higher and now since we are in the weekly time frame we can go into the lock scale and we can do a Fibonacci extension here I think I already have this from the last time we did this Fibonacci extension measurement from the old all-time high that we had here at 20k and the bottom at $3,000 
Here in the normal Fibonacci extensions, you can see that we have the 1.618 at $30,000. There is where I was expecting to have some rejection, then come back down to retest the 20K, but we came straight back up here towards 42,000. Uh, here you can see the 3.618 Fibonacci extension at $63,000, right at our first stock to flow price model level that should be reached very soon here in the Bitcoin price. And if we now go into lock scale mode, also here in the Fibonacci extension measurement, you can see that the 1.618 is right here at $63,000, exactly where the stock to flow currently is lining up because the stock to flow price model predicts a price right now of Bitcoin between 63 and 115,000 dollar so that's why i think this 63000 is a very important key level for bitcoin also for the long term probably also a very important price level in the next bear market which of course also can come at any time maybe not this year or next year but maybe before the next halving we're gonna see those price levels again even though we could see bitcoin way above 100k during this year so these 63,000 in my opinion are very easy to get reached in a very close future so I think maybe in the next couple of weeks if we're gonna see here follow through and take out also this high that we had at $42,000 we could easily reach this price level up here and this is also more or less the price target if this correction that we have seen right now was a bull flag because in that case if we do a measurement here from the 20k breakout up to $42,000 if we pull it over here you can see that more or less we would reach here this price level and that's why I think if this breakout is confirmed we could reach the $63,000 very easily and maybe then there start another consolidation or have another pullback to retest the 40k area before we move on to higher levels. So that's why my friends I'm telling you still to open up some long positions over on Bybit and Femix even though we could see now a potential retracement back down towards 34 or $35,000 make sure that you will have a long position set and buy more Bitcoin because if we're gonna shoot up here towards $60,000 we most likely never will come back again towards 30k so that's why it's very very important that you take as much profits as possible if we're gonna see here this parabolic move towards this bullish price target so you can see that here on the bitcoin price this fibonacci extension makes very much sense especially in the log scale and we will do the same measurement also in the ethereum price so we can switch now over into the ethereum price so we can also start here in the four hour time frame because uh, ethereum had yesterday a very nice breakout above 1600 dollar we even confirmed it as a new support so what we want to see here in the Ethereum price is four hour candle closes above $1,600. Also here you can see that we are a bit overbought in the RSI and also in my own indicator. We have already a confirmed sell signal. So here we could see a potential retracement back down towards the 20 moving average in the four hour right here at 1,500. This also previously acted as a very strong resistance this area and now it should be acting as a support. So if you want to buy some more Ethereum or scale in some nice longs over on Bybit or Femex for Ethereum, make sure to scale it in here between the 20 moving average here at 1,500, maybe even scale it down if we drop lower towards 200 moving average at 1,250. It is still possible that we could even wick down towards these price levels down here, but at 1,500, I think we should have already enough buy pressure and a lot of support because previously it acted as a resistance now it should be acting as a new support and also if we go over into the daily time frame you can see that currently the nine daily moving average is right here at 1430 and the 20 daily is at 1350 so it is very possible that we will come down to retest these two important moving averages before we gear up again for another big move to the upside the important thing here also is that we're gonna close daily candles above these two important moving average in order to maintain our bullish momentum to the 
upside so also here on ethereum the daily time frame is looking very bullish and this possible retracement back down here could be possible only in the short term but for the long term ethereum is looking very bullish and i'm expecting to reach very soon two thousand dollar and potentially go even way higher probably towards 8k where our 1.618 fibonacci extension level is here on the ethereum price so let's go over into the weekly time frame now and let's also do here a fibonacci extension measurement based from the old all-time high that we had here at 1430 and the bottom here at 70 dollars if we do a normal fibonacci extension without the log scale you can see that the first level is here the 1.618 2260 dollars this could be similar like the 30k area of bitcoin where we just continued to push higher and this is also what i'm expecting in ethereum to happen that most likely if we're going to reach 2k we're going to continue to go straight up similar like bitcoin did from 30k to 42 thousand dollar so that would mean that we most likely will go up here even towards 3600 dollar before we're going to start to consolidate again here in the ethereum price and if we do now also here a fibonacci extension measurement based on the log scale data then you can see hold on a second that the 1.618 fibonacci extension level is right here at eight thousand five hundred dollar and that's why it would make very much sense that if bitcoin is going to reach 60k that ethereum most likely is also going to reach eight thousand dollar that wouldn't mean that this would be the all-time high of ethereum most likely also here we're gonna go way higher same like on bitcoin that we will go way higher above 100k so even if bitcoin would reach 60k that wouldn't mean that this is the all-time high and we will then start a bear market this is just the next level before we gear up then for another higher level same like we had now from 20k up to 40k and that's why in my opinion it makes very much sense that ethereum could reach even eight thousand dollar if bitcoin is able to reach the 60k within the next couple of weeks or months so you see that this price level is not too much far-fetched and since we have currently all this FOMO going on with the DeFi space and all of those coins are based on the Ethereum network, I think that Ethereum could easily reach these price levels, especially at those stages and during this bull market. So for this year, I'm pretty confident that Ethereum will reach for sure $8,000. The ultimate all-time high maybe will not be reached this year maybe next year or at least at the beginning of next year because i think if bitcoin is going to top out somewhere between september to december and afterwards we're gonna see a big altcoin season that there maybe ethereum is going to top out somewhere way above eight thousand dollar but for this year i think eight thousand dollar is very very likely to be reached here on ethereum so I know this is a bit a moon boyish price prediction, but it makes very much sense if we do these Fibonacci extension measurements here on the lock scale. So those numbers are not just any kind of fantasy numbers. Those are numbers based on Fibonacci extensions. So let me know, my friends, what do you think? Will Ethereum reach $8,000 this year? Yes or no? You can let me know in the comment section or, of course, also over on Discord. And by the way, if you want to join our free Discord trading chat, make sure to join it by using the official link down below here. With this link, you can for free join our chat. You just have to go to the read first channel and then click here on thumbs up to confirm that you are a human and not a bot. And like this, you can get access to our great Discord trading chat. And of course, here you can also get access to my own indicator live stream, which is giving you buy and sell signals for Bitcoin in different time frames. So like this, you can trade very easily next to your own TA if you're trading over on Bybit or Femex. And to get a free account and also support the channel on Bybit and Femex, make sure to use my invitation links down below here. With those links, you support the channel, you get some extra bonus. And currently on Prime XBT, where we have this special co-vesting feature, you can use these promo codes to get some extra deposit and a big discount on trading fees. You can just easily sign up without KYC, nothing with my invitation link down below here. Then you insert those promo codes here in the promo code area and as soon as they are activated you can start to trade with more bonus money and of course also with less fees 
because here on Prime XPT you can also do some nice passive money if you catch the right traders because some of them have over thousands of percentage of gains. So that's why I make also sure that you try out this co-vesting feature here on Prime XPT and we're gonna celebrate 5,000 subscribers very soon my friends. Thank you again very much for your support and we're gonna celebrate this with a $50 giveaway on Prime XPT. They will send us to celebrate 5k subscribers, several giveaway codes for Prime XPT so with that money you can easily trade here and of course also do this co-vesting thing so with that you can do some free trades of course. So definitely make sure to be subscribed on this channel. I do daily TA videos. Also always hit that like button. The more likes we get, the higher the Bitcoin price will go. So with that said guys, I'm gonna wrap it up for now. Thank you again very much for watching and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye.